hey guys so welcome to another youtube video in this youtube video i'm going to be showing you guys how i model this tricycle essentially in blender from start to finish what i'll be showing you guys is just uh, me going through the rigors of trying to put this 3d model together this is essentially it's a primary means of transport here in nigeria but i also got to discover recently that it's also used in india heavily so it's just going to be me trying to put together the scene i already had the blueprint set up already so what i was just doing here was just trying to make sure i arrange each vertices to match the detail and then i also like had i had a side profile and i had um the model to the um back also so i could also see different side of it so here i'm trying to make sure that these vertices are all in chords and they flow properly with each other um most of the techniques that i'm using today are really um knowing how when to terminate a loop and knowing when to you know try to make sure that the, the mesh is clean enough and has enough cords here i'm trying to create more details by you know cutting out the details and just arranging the mesh so that it doesn't it doesn't it deforms properly rather so here i'm just trying to make out the the real light detail and here you see me terminating a loop that's something I, I would need to touch in the channel maybe sometimes in the future but that that place trying to make sure that you know your details are localized at a certain place not something that okay you want to add the detail and you're adding an entire loop to the whole model um here i'm trying to create the tire but this is like the covering of the tire so essentially i started with okay so yeah i'm going on with detailing the motorcycle and here i'm trying to okay if you notice i went from one face to two face in that model and that is um, also a looping technique that i learned recently i think um decoded has a lot of topology techniques on his channel and john dickinson i think that's his name he has a lot of um looping techniques and modeling techniques on his channel essentially that's where i learned about all of this so after that i went on to modeling the chair but i first of all started with the stand and in, if you notice a lot um of this modeling relied on my use of mirror modifiers and um, managing the weight of this topology in this chair i'm just adding extra detail this is not as detailed as it should, as it should be but it's just enough for the camera for you to feel like this is same there but it's um there's no tread there's no there's no any crevice or any real real um you know science to that chair so i'm doing the backrest here but um it didn't have anything to standing on so i essentially just added those So here I'm just trying to put together bolts and notes so that the canopy itself makes sense. So it's not like it's just standing on anything or nothing. So basically I just put the notes around it just so that it feels like it's fastened to the base of the vehicle. So here I'm trying to make out the tire. I don't know who I catch the recording for the tire, but um essentially the the tire is just a cylinder and on they are just different parts I was just extruding and, you know, trying to make more detail. So here, trying to figure out how I'm going to make the front glass from side view. Then when I switched the front, I discovered that it's all, um, it's all situated in one side. So I had to switch between the front view and the side view to make sure that these glasses are, I mean, these vertices are actually lined up properly.
so here this this place was really really tasking for me but essentially i used the knife tool first to cover the shape of that front and then what i did after was try to make sure that this merge actually works because a lot of end guns and triangles were beginning to appear in the mesh so i had to do a lot of cleanup after this but then um, i had to make out shades so i could create um crevices and a little bit of detail at that point you discover that i used the loop tool all you have to do is just to select a certain amount of face right click and then you can quickly change it to a circle at any time you want so this is me just essentially um Making sure I get the form right, there is a lot um, of things that are wrong with this mesh. But so long as I was able to get the primary form, I wasn't so bothered about it. So this is me just trying to make sense of the entire model. I, I didn't know the kind of attachment the front wheel had with the, the front of the car. So I just made something up to just make it look like it actually works, you know. Um, this is me trying to just adjust it and, um, you know, make it, make it look like it's in the right proportion. Because I think at the end of the day, if your model doesn't feel like it's in the right proportion, someone can easily tell that there's something off about this. So what I did next was, you know, trying to make the dashboard and, you know, the steering, I don't know if I should call it a steering wheel or a steering bar. Maybe a steering bar should actually be the right word. So this is me just trying to make the, the dashboard and all of that. As you can see, down there below, I also had a reference that I was working with, but I wasn't just feeling myself enough to actually get into the nitty gritty of the detail, but I just did enough to where it actually looks, it actually looks okay. Because if you look at that dashboard, it's really, really well detailed. me contemplating if i should add more detail or move on to something else so i just i just went on to something else just um, added a little wire made um i just tried to make make the tire make sense because um there's nothing really connecting the tire to the main main car so i needed to add a little bit more and this is me just adding a spring and then some cylinders to just um, make it look like there's some suspension system there meanwhile there's nothing so I was just um, adding a, a bit more wire to make the um, mechanism work um, with some electrical wires. And then I also added this array system. I, I, noticed, I noticed it in a lot of the models and um, I just wanted to incorporate it in this. So I just had an array system, duplicate those, and then added the curve modifier to it and just make sure that it followed the curve modifier part. It's really, really easy, very easy. So this is um, me just making a shape for the headlamp. Um, I believe I have this on, um, this model is on my silk tree that is basically going to be free and you can essentially get it there for free. So thank you guys. And that's it guys. So long and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.